Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel, thank you for tuning in. I'm uh, back on my dream field here and I have to hurry up because the farmer is uh, seeding the field here soon. So um, I got to use every minute I have left here. So just follow me and I'll be back when I got my first find. I found a shank <laughs> and the button is missing. Should be two fennig from the late 1800s, early 1900s. Next find is a button with a nice design. Beautiful signal that's worth a life dig. Here it is. Oh, what a pity. What a pity. It's uh, a thimble. But as you can see, it's broken. But I'm thinking about uh, whether it's uh, the right size, or, or better to say, if it was meant uh, to be small like that <laughs> because um, the damage you can see here is uh, yeah it only uh, snapped here but uh, I think this is uh, the original size here it's a very tiny one then hmm. but I found even tinier ones, so uh, it's not unusual. Yeah, super. I love to find thimbles, as I said many times before. I already saw a beautiful color in this hand of earth. Oh yes, there it is. Is it a button? Whoa, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful coin. Look at the details. Guys, this is not set up, you know. I grabbed the hand and uh, I, yeah, saw this color, you know. I saw something and I thought, let's uh, re reveal what it is together. Oh, beautiful coin. This is a bronze coin, I mean, Look at the state of it. This is so unusual to find a bronze coin 
in a state like this it is absolutely amazing look at the hair look at the ribbon in the hair the eye the nose the mouth you have writing on the side and here this has to be a barbaric coin again because it's uh, quite yeah primitively designed but uh, what a fantastic find <laughs> what a fantastic find These anchor buckle fragments uh, seem to be quite common on my fields. Um, it's the third one, I think, in uh, the last uh, three hunts. And it's really a shame because, uh, as you can see, they are quite large. And uh, so were um, the buckles, you know. But where are they? <laughs> mm. Yeah, beautiful large buckles, I think. It's the next symbol. Silver. Great find. Has to be one Kreuzer. Um, I think from the mid 1800s, something like that. Very tiny and uh, thin silver coins. This is um, a very old piece of glass. I don't know if uh, the colors will come through the way I see them. Beautiful. And uh, this is uh, glass patina. And uh, as I said, it, it tells you that, that it's old. And let's see if we can find some bubbles that are locked in the glass because this is an indicator for old glass as well you can see it here there's a bubble so it is uh, definitely a quite old piece of glass a buckle fragment yeah. it was a beautiful one as you can see It's another Roman minimum in fantastic condition. I don't know why they come up in such a beautiful state in this area here. You know how these uh, minims look uh, normally. <laughs> I can show you examples later. But these are beautiful can't tell you why. 
This side is a bit grotty here, but uh, I'm absolutely stunned by this side here of the coin. Just found a beautiful round musket ball or pistol ball. Another wonderful Roman coin here. As I said before, I, I don't know why they are in such a good state here on this field. Look at this. <laughs> it's amazing. Next find, Roman rivet. Uh, typical. Um, you might ask yourself, how can uh, he be so sure that it is a Roman rivet? Um, as a matter of fact, these uh, rivets, uh, they are built the same way even today, you know, but come on. Um, I'm standing here on a field where I keep finding Roman coins every 10 meters and uh, it's uh, quite characteristic for a Roman rivet uh, how it is made uh, so yeah I just say that it is a Roman rivet That's interesting. Uh, two meters away from the first rivet I found, I found a quite similar one. Yeah, look at look at it. Uh, unfortunately, it's uh, broken on this side, but uh, yeah, these have to be Roman. Let me show you the other one in comparison. Look here. They are very similar. This one, I think, is a bit uh, thicker and a bit smaller in diameter. But uh, the design is quite similar. I wish I, I'd know uh, what these rivets were used for. What a beauty, <laughs> what a beautiful small buckle here. Still got the needle attached to it, which is uh, always nice. Yeah. I love finding buckles and this one is nicely designed. I think this will clean up quite nice. Ah, could be the next Roman Minim, according to the signal. Would be great. Oh, fast grab. Oh. I was so shocked because it's silver shiny. But it's only a buckle fragment. Yeah, but uh, imagine what a beautiful one it was and uh, quite, quite big as well.
Here's the next tiny buckle. Beautiful one as well. It's a small anchor buckle. Uh, complete. Don't ask me uh, where it's from. <laughs> mm. Beautiful find. Guys, it's as good as it gets here. These two came out of the same hole. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. This is a Camp Gate uh, Follis uh, Constantine. And this uh, is a barbaric imitation again. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, guys, believe it or not, <laughs> these are uh, the rest of the minims I found today. Um, I decided not to uh, show each one to you. And uh, I also decided not to make a close-up picture of uh, each and every coin because uh, they are quite grotty and in a horrible state. But I uh, will give them a clean and as usual I will present them to you in a close-up all together and maybe some of them are more detailed than assumed. Here you can see the buttons of today and uh, as you can see they are all intact. <laughs> uh, they have the shank still. This one is a beautiful one small uh yeah ball like uh button quick roundup we have a beautiful Roman minims here in a fantastic state. We have uh, two symbols, two Roman rivets. Uh, this is uh, two Fennig from the late 1800s, early 1900s. We have uh, buckle fragments here, pewter buckle. Uh, here this is from an anchor buckle. And two complete ones, a uh, beautiful one here, this round one. Still complete as well as this one and uh, two musket balls. Yeah, the trash kept me busy today. Last time it was uh, very pleasant. Uh, <laughs> had uh, not much trash, but this time, look at it. I mean, you, you can't even see the tiny ones between the larger ones. Rabies tablets are uh, horrible. That's it for today, friends. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Thank you for watching it. Um, it was a beautiful day again, and I made some fantastic finds, so of course I enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you will stay tuned on my channel. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for that. Until next time, I wish you good luck and happy hunting for your metal detecting projects. Bye bye, au revoir, and auf Wiedersehen.